Hi right, guys, welcome back. We're on tour with Drizzers. If you're new here, we're a full-time travel couple from the UK. We're currently in the Arabat Centre in Rabat, and we're going to show you the modern side of Rabat. We got the bullet train here yesterday, so make sure you go back and watch that video. It is such a unique train, and it's the fastest in Africa. As Ben said, we're going to show you the modern side of Rabat, the capital city of Morocco, if you didn't know. But the best way to show it is a moor. Definitely. Yeah, this, this Another like, more, Ben. Another more. We love a more. <laughs> ben hates a <them> <laughs> Yeah, this more's like me me mega like modern, and um, sort of excited just to like. I, 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 I don't I say I love it more. I hate, I hate shopping, but I love seeing this. Like, the modern, different malls, yeah. The different modern malls. Um, it, today is Friday, um, a very religious day here in Morocco, and for most Muslim countries, well, all Muslim countries. Across, across the Islamic world. So it's a lot more quiet today. I think we picked the best time to go to a mall. It normally gets busy in the evening everywhere here. We found, we got up this morning and it was dead quiet. We're in the middle of the Medina and we literally could not hear anything when in the evening it's really loud and noisy. It's so, it all comes alive in the evening. All right, I'll be two seconds, two. Pretty sure I knew I was gonna lose her to a shop. The story of my life this is. I would just be happy with just like looking at the dining options. But she wants to look around all the shops. Oh well. Husband problems. Well there's a few shops here I recognise. We've got H&M, Puller Bear, Adidas, some of the normal ones. And then you've got obviously your Moroccan brands. Guess. So there's no like Louis Vuitton with nothing really posh here. That's probably the posher shop I've seen here. Like mainstream, like regular. Yeah this is like affordable, brands. like high street kind of stuff. We're going to head upstairs now to the food court and see what food places there are. This is in the Rabat Agol, 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 however you say it, um, <laughs> area, which is like the more like upmarket sort of area of Rabat. But it's, oh uh, wow! Obviously, a little bit of money around this area. So look how nice this is. Feels like very outsidey. Because there's no roof. <laughs> well done. So well done, it, Ben. You're so that, clever. If you're in, if you're somewhere and there's no roof, you're outside. But there is kind of We've got palm trees in the middle. Love it. You won't find a mall like this at home with palm trees in the middle and open. It'll be wet every day. Yeah, I, I, we haven't got the weather for it again. I'll tell you what, it has not rained once since we've been here. It hasn't. No. no. No, it's filmed on the 1st of February. People that want to go away to find some sun, Morocco is the place to be. We've gone upstairs, but we haven't seen the food court. I think it might be around it. Look how nice this like Gucci pop-up is. It's like floral perfume, I think. We've got loads of makeup shops as well, faces. Whoa. Oh wow, this is the most unique food court I think I've ever seen. It's well nice, isn't it, this food court? Look at it. it even the McDonald's looks posh. We've got, we've got Burger King here, ice and berry, some ice cream. Just look at the style of the table, it's like, it's so cool. We've got fresh juices right in front of us. KFC. Wow. Taco de Leon. Have you even ate there? Taco de Leon. We, we haven't even ate there. We've had a few deliveries. From there? Not from there. Um, we have. We've had a few, have we? Yeah. Oh. Bun tasted burger. Oh, so my, oh my donut. Oh, oh my God. How are you? Very good. Fine, thank you. Maybe we, maybe we'll come out some food. Yes. Not yet though. We got to film a video for this. Yes. <laughs> on top of my Thank you. Nice yes. to meet you. Yeah, on oh, my burger, nice guy there. We're thinking of eating there. It's not a Moroccan um, chain, but no, it's quite popular, I think it's popular. It? Yeah. yeah. The food looks amazing. We're just staring at people's food that they're eating. Whoa. Sushi. Not a fan of sushi. Tacos. So this is the one we always eat at, supposedly. We do all the time. We get loads of time. Ben orders the food, I ain't got a clue where I'm eating from. Oh, this is like a Turkish place. So we've come outside, we've decided to leave the Arabic centre early because we got told by the security guards that we're not allowed to film in there. Which is very strange, considering everyone's got a phone. phone and that, but we were getting followed around for like the last 20 minutes by the security, so we're like, well, we might as well just leave. Yeah, we have to leave. We're pretty good. I, did, I checked on YouTube though, there's like hundreds of videos there, so I just... I don't know, I don't know what the rule is, but that's the first time ever in a mall we've been told we can't film. Sad, isn't it? Yeah, it um, is really sad. It's such a nice centre, and on the top, top floor, there was a cinema as well. Had a quick look in there, but we're getting followed. <laughs> right, the show must go on. What we'll do, find somewhere to grab a coffee, make a plan, 
and we will continue this video. We'll see what else there is in the modern area. I want to interrupt this video. We did receive a reply from the Arabat Centre and they did say that we were allowed to film. We're not sure why we were stopped by security, but we're allowed to. They did apologise and welcome us back for another private experience where we could explore it in depth. But unfortunately, by the time we had received this message on our TikTok page, we were long gone from Rabat and a new city. So hopefully... When we go back to Morocco, we can go back there and film it in depth for you guys. Nice spot you found, Benny. Alone in the sun. That's a good thing about this, this position. All shade. Two seats at the end with no sun. With, with sun and no Hello. sun. Hello. Hello, how are you? Uh, Minty? Uh, yeah. Yeah, can we get two Minties? Minty? Tea. Tea, Min. So we've just ordered two teas. As usual, comes with a little bottle of water, glass and teapot. Ooh. I'm not very good at it, but 13 dirhams each. We're just gonna sit here. There's lovely background noise. <laughs> yeah, the noise bit of building work, aren't it? <laughs> After our little negotiation over the rent tea, we've come up with a solution. We're gonna jump on the tram because we haven't showed you the tram yet. There's a really super modern tram that we've got to show you. Get the tram to sort of where the Royal Palace is. Got our tickets, six mad each, which is pretty uh all right. So it's like just one fixed price no matter where you're going. Oh, here comes tram, but it's on the other side of the road. It's not our one. Here it comes. Thank you. Right, it's like mega busy on here. So as soon as you come on, you've got to scan your ticket on there. And then the guy comes along, checks it, and then he does like his little offer. It's pretty easy. It's just like run of the mill, but yeah, sort of like hit and rush out now. Oh my god, we literally bought a place. That's the archway. We didn't actually know this, but this is literally not far from the Medina, like near where we're staying. Nice, we must be near all these nice things. Bye, tram. The gate we've just walked through, that's Bab Roa Gate, and we're just entering like the, I don't know what you call this, sort of like where the royals are. Got a palace, a very historic part of Rabat. If you want to go in and see the palace here, you need to bring your passport because you need to show the security on the door the stamp in your passport. So we can't go in there, they're really nice about it. But I say that guy was really, a real really nice, guy. nice yeah, yeah, and helpful. Instead of going gooey, they were lovely. But I'm gutted, we can't go in there. I reckon I could climb that wall. <laughs> yeah, why? Well. I might get like shot and arrested, but I'll get to see it. We're surrounded by this orangey yellow coloured ward. It reminds me of like a sand castle. Yeah, yeah a, lot, it? a lot of the walls are that sort of colour. But here, a lot of these buildings I think are like embassies and stuff. So obviously it's been the capital. But look at this, this is a electric tower and they've made it look like a palm tree. The thing I love about Rabat, right? Such a good vibe. Everyone's like proper like friendly. Everyone's happy. No one seems to be in a rush, do they? No. No one seems to be in a rush. Everyone's sort of just getting on with their day, being like proper chilled. Like the cap's always full. Everyone's, oh yeah, cats, ev cats everywhere. Love cats, of course. Yeah, I love it. Rabat is top city. It's um, my top 10 cities. I've been to a lot of cities, all right? Right, we're at St. Peter's Cathedral. This is the only cathedral in Rabat. It's because one, only 1%, just 1% of the population of Morocco, out of 31 million people, are Christian. They're mostly Muslim. Gotta say, it's a very beautiful cathedral. This building here, yeah? So it goes there and finishes. But this little bit here, a problem with the camera, it looks like part of the building. They've actually drawn it on the wall, they've painted it on the wall, so it looks like the, the building keeps going. I was like, I looked at it once and I was like, what? what's going on there? But yeah, that's a painting on the wall, very clever. We're gonna admit defeat and we're heading back to our place. And if we're heading to the old Medina where we live at the moment. But today has not gone to plan. Really, everything we planned to do went a bit, like, as the British would say, tits up. <laughs> <laughs> the Arabat Mall with the no cameras, and then obviously I've been able to get into the um, palace. Royal Palace, and then everything's just gone badly. So we're going to head back. Rian's been going on, oh, because it's, it's not gone to plan, can I have, well, the, in the old Medina, we'll show you. I think we showed you in the last video. But there's these biscuits you can get. These, no! Oh, bacalavas, sorry, bacalavas, back, bacalavas, however you say it. Rian's obsessed with them, so. Oh my god. I saw them yesterday and they are humongous. And we're going to treat you guys to us trying a few different ones because today hasn't gone to plan. So bacalavas make everything better. You got lucky. You got lucky. You get to watch us eat bacalavas. But it is like six o'clock now, so we can't even like do much more, if you know what I mean. Sunset, my feet are hurting. 
Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Sale? Sale. 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 Uh, yes, so everything. Oh, it's not nice. Oh, very nice. Merci. Oh, these look nice. Yeah, I should work with Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we were walking back and I was like, chickpeas, our favourite thing. But what we found out from last time, a lot of comments, people said, they make you poo. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> yeah. Oh, if you thank, eat too many. Thank God I'm a bit bloated. <laughs> <laughs> but look, we got like a cone of them. I think it's like cumin, it smells like. Some spices on there. He did, like he two or three, something, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, two or three different ones. Um, five durham for this cone. And it's pretty full. I can't eat. Are you going to eat? I'll eat. Go then. Can you feed me one? <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh my God, they're unreal. Yeah, delicious. So that is cumin, isn't it? Yeah, um, chili flakes, so oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're delicious. And they're, and they're obviously warm where they've just been cooked. A little bit crispy on the outside, like not soggy. If you come to Morocco and don't have these chip pits on the side of the street, yeah, what full. are you doing? We've made it back to the Medina. We're just going down the street where all the food are and the bacalavas. But this is what we're going to be filming tomorrow, the busy, hectic Medina. Look how busy it is now. Like, yeah. The more it's the evening, the busier it gets. This will get more busier the later. Shout out to the food though. The food oh down this road gosh. is incredible, honestly. 100%, so it looks good. so good. And we both want to get a new pair of trainers. I bought some last time we were here in Rabat and they're the best fakes I've ever bought and they're still going strong. I think the next video is going to be food and shopping, which is like your favorite thing plus my favorite thing. This is the best baccalava place. <gasps> Which one's Ben? You know. That one. Oh, yum. We're being good though, we're only getting one each. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's like proper obsessed with these. But last time we were standing like, over the road, we were here like every night. These are like pre dinner snacks. Look at the selection though. Oh no, she needs to go and get more change. Let's get him out. Oh. Oh. Look at that gooiness. This is massive, this one. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair assessment. It's so good. I'm not really sure on this filling. I don't know if it's nuts or not, but it's really sweet and then it's got the crunchy outside. This is kind of like, it reminds me of like phyllo pastry like grated finely and then you've got like cashew nuts on top. Mine's with shredded wheat. Oh, it's well good. And then Ben got this one with nuts. You try it? You try it. Do you want me to try it? Yeah, you try it. <laughs> I'll so let you try it. It's got like cashew nuts on top and then you've got like the pastry bit underneath. Yours is so boring compared to mine. Is it? Mm. It's nice, but nowhere near as good as mine. But both of these together, with 20 durham, I'm pretty certain mine would have been a bit more because mine's like a lot bigger. Great pre-dinner and after, not the best day of filming, but we still got some bits. Yeah, Delicious. We're gonna finish the video here. Like we've been saying a few times, tomorrow is all about food and shopping. So make sure you don't miss it. And remember to subscribe. <laughs>